Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Cyber Weekend is here. The offers that we were waiting so long for, that we were so excited for, have dropped. And I must say, I was not expecting to make this particular video. I am right now very, very demoralized. Um, these offers have taken the heart out of me. They are so bad. And let me explain why I'm so demoralized. It's not because I'm stuck at Cavalier. The Cavalier offers that you're seeing here, uh, which we'll go over, are bad for some Cavalier players. For those who are ready to transition to building their six star roster and making that stronger people who have just become cavalier they may have a different perspective however uh i can become throne breaker i could do it right now and i can get the throne breaker uh deals which for units aren't really all that good either so that's the thing you know we were wondering whether we could double dip you know, get the Cav, become Thronebreaker, and then get the Thronebreaker deals. But what I'm seeing, that's not worth it at all. Not even close. This is really a slap in the face as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and it shows a mindset that's dangerous. And honestly, it has me wondering how long I'm going to continue playing this game. That's how bad it is. Uh, I watched a video by Brian Grant who is a free-to-play player, another free-to-play player, and he's passing on these offers. And that's something. But we're going to go over why he's passing on those offers, and you can take a look at his video. KT1, another YouTuber, uh, is also um, very upset at what he's seeing here. Um, and he breaks down the offers and why they are so bad. Now, we're talking about for units. The offers for money are on point. They're really good. If you spend, great, wonderful. You're going to have a great time this weekend. If you don't spend, you're not going to have a great time. Okay? So, uh, let's take a look here at this first bundle. Now, where I'm at in the game, I've been Cavalier for a little while. So... Even during July 4, I was trying to focus a little bit more on my six-star roster. This is actually a regression. These offers are worse than the offers for July 4 for Cavalier players. All right, so we've got five tier four basic catalysts. We get those, not, you know, anything special. Uh, three tier four class catalyst selectors. Those can come in useful. Uh, 15,000 five star hero crystal shards. Now, here's the problem with that. We're transitioning to six star roster. In order to get to the next progression level, this is contest of champions. It's a contest. You're supposed to progress. Okay. So we were at Cavalier. And those of us who are ready to go to the six star roster have been Cavalier for a while. So that means we already achieved the highest progression and we've done a lot to get to the upper end of that progression. And the Cavalier title, progression title, was the highest in the game. Kabam came out with a new title. Then they're making these changes that basically are degrading the Cavalier title through no fault of our own. Suddenly, Cavalier is even worse than it was before. Not relatively speaking. You know, you can understand that progression, you know, the throne breaker should have better deals. But the Cavalier shouldn't have worse deals than they had before. Worse than Thronebreaker, yes, but not worse than they had before. And that's what we're seeing. Uh, so take me, for example, 
And there are quite a few in the same situation. We're ready to move on to the next level. We're ready to go uh, and get a throne breaker. Okay. 15,000 five star hero shards is nothing to us. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Uh, two tier two alphas. We still need rank up materials. Uh, tier one alpha catalyst. Yes. But the rest of that. Nothing. Okay. Now I may still get this uh, offer. Uh, I'm probably going to become throne breaker before the weekend is out. So I will somewhat double dip. I will grab these 1000 units uh, worth of stuff because I can still use uh, that. But let's take a look at this 4000 one. Uh, five star awakening gem. I currently have, I think, four generic five star awakening gems. I have an assortment of class. But here's the thing. Unless it's for fun, this is not going to help my progression. And I like to progress, but this does nothing for my progression. Okay. Um, if I were to pull a five star Dr. Doom, that's the only champion currently that will help my progression uh, in, far of, uh, in terms of prestige. Okay. Because prestige is the name of the game. That's where you can get more rewards. That's where your alliance you know, can get the, you know, higher rank rewards and you can progress. So the idea is that we want to get higher prestige. That's how Kabam has set things up. All right. But there's nothing in here that's going to help me do that. All right. Nothing. Five star six stones. I have currently probably 20 or so generic five star six stones in my overflow. I'm going to have to use them. Okay. Uh, 3000 six star hero shards, 3000 really for 4,000 units. No. And then a five star Nexus, Nexus, uh, hero crystal, a five star one. Keep in mind that the prestige game has already moved on to six stars. You are not going to get the high prestige without rank threeing a six star, having them awaken, and, you know, um, having a decent prestige and, and level. Okay, so it's already moved on. So they give you a little bit of six star and then a, a nexus, a five star nexus, which is RNG. So you can open that up and you'll get Groot, who's not going to help you at all. And you'll get assortment of other champions that are probably going to be useless to you. But you might get lucky. And you'll improve, you know, improve your prestige by a little bit. All right, then you got the tier two alphas. Those are good. Um, I don't mind those. But overall, that's trash for someone in my position. Keep in mind, I'm ready to move on and I can move on, but that does not excuse this offer. Okay, then we've got these. A five star. Do you see a theme here? They're still talking about five stars. Okay. Other than for fun, that's not going to help your prestige at all. You know, now you might be one of those that just became Cavalier and you might, you know, be on that lower end. That's fine. These are probably going to look much better to you. But for 10,000 units, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it at all. I've saved up 24,000 units. I have 7 million battle chips that I was gonna open this weekend. And I'm not doing any of that, okay? Um, now, the 20,000 six star hero shards, that's great, but it's two random six stars. Do you know how I would feel if I spent 10,000 units and pulled dupes of champions that I'm not gonna use, that's not gonna help me? That's crazy, and then, more five star six stones. Are you kidding me? What is this? You know, these offers are not even as good as the July four offers. So the only thing when I was looking over this during the live stream, I was trying my best to keep an upbeat, positive attitude uh, by what I was seeing. So I'm looking at the six star awakening gem crystal. It's random. 
but I would love that, okay? If I could get that for just 3,000 units, that would be good. It's still random, and it might help me out. I might get one that I can't use just yet, but I would love that. But I'm not buying all the rest of those in order to get something like that. It's not worth it. So I'm sitting here feeling betrayed and hurt, um, and I'm looking at this, and I'm like, okay, well, let me see what I can do. Maybe I'll get one thousand, you know, get this first level, then become Thronebreaker. And I don't have the Thronebreaker deals. You can take a look and uh, and uh, uh, look at some other videos. Uh, KT1, BG, you know, Brian Grant, uh, and you can see the other offers. And I'm currently thinking that I may just because I have to, because Kabam is giving us crumbs. You know, this is bad. But I might have to uh, get this first one, become Thronebreaker, and then get all of the offers for uh, the Thronebreaker deals. And then maybe. But here's, here's why this is so bad, because even the Thronebreaker deals are not good at all. All right, so I need to increase my prestige. All right. So I need a six star rank three. I currently have one tier five class catalyst that I was able to get doing AQ, map seven all the time. We get a 10% random. I was able to form it. Um, I still have some others that I can, uh, or, or one other that I can get from uh, exploring act six. I haven't done that yet, uh, but I was gonna do that after these offers. All right. So say I bought, these offers, maybe opened up the battle chips and double dipped, got all these offers, got all the uh, Thronebreaker offers, opened up some crystals and the best possible uh, options, you know, the best possible results happen. I pulled Dr. Doom and Silver Surfer. Great prestige options for a six star. Now what? I rank up the Dr. Doom and Silver Surfer to rank two eventually. Now I need to get them to rank three so they can really affect my prestige. Can't do that without a tier five class catalyst. So I can wait, hope on RNG, randomly um, get one, uh, a mystic and another uh, for a cosmic and get them ranked up. Okay, so say I got both of them to rank three, which is already phenomenal. You know, I got really lucky and pulled Doom and Silver Surfer, got really lucky and awakened both of them and could take them up to rank three. Okay, best possible outcome ever. Now what? Without a lot of Sig Stones, that's not gonna help me at all. Uh, and what I'm seeing in the offers, even for the Thronebreaker offers, uh, they give you random six star six stones not even generic um and and it's just when, when you compare the offers that they have right now for cavalier to what they offered before it's a regression it's a downgrade now if you spend money those offers are off the chain and they need to keep the whales spending okay this is not a, a dig or a slam against that. They're a business. They have to make money. If they don't, the game will go down. Okay. So they've got to make it enticing. So I have no problem with the offers for money being better than the offers for units. But this is ridiculous. What they've done here is a betrayal. And honestly, it made me want to put the game down and not pick it up for a while. And that has not happened in over four years. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm still trying to come to grips with how I feel about this and the direction they're going, because that's really what this is about. Like I said, I can become throne breaker, but what I'm seeing is a direction, a mindset. Their decisions are part of a plan, a goal. And if they are trying to phase out 
the free to play players, then they're doing a good job of it. Okay. Now you can still play the game. Nothing stops you. Uh, you just will know that you cannot get past a certain point anytime soon. And I remember talking to people about free to play and whether this game was pay to win. Okay. And I don't believe it's a pay to win, but I think that if they continue this trend, this game will become a pay to win and understand what I mean by pay to win. Uh, pay to win means that you're not going to be able to progress, not even close to those who spend money. Okay. Um, right now we're not there. Okay. But we already know it's impossible for me or a free to play player to catch up. Okay. But we shouldn't be able to catch up to the spenders. There has to be a gap between spenders and non spenders that will incentivize them to spend. So this is not trying to equalize anything because it's not supposed to be. However, what we have is not just a gap, but a chasm that is growing. They play, it's almost like they play a completely different game. They don't even understand um, some of the issues that we have because it's like a completely different game for them, you know? And when I look at, you know, my account and I probably play this game more than most of you watching this, you know, I play hours and hours and hours a day in this game. And I don't even compare, not even close. And I know there's not even a path to get even close because Kabam has designed it that way. You know, uh, so with these offers, I have to call it, it's a cash grab. That's what they are doing. It's a cash grab. They created the title for Thronebreaker and I wondered why they had the requirements that they did. You know, they didn't follow their previous pattern. They deviated. And I wondered why. Now I know. Cash grab. When I look at these offers, I know now why they made that change. Cash grab. That's it. And I don't like calling things cash grabs, okay? Because a lot of people that call things cash grabs don't understand the business side of things. And so someone will come along with more business knowledge and say, look, this game, it's a business, you know, and they have to make money. And see, I understand that, you know, I have a business degree. I know. Okay. I know, but this may have very negative, um, repercussions for them. Uh, I don't think they understand just how deep a hole they might be digging for themselves by doing this. Uh, I expected to be playing this game for a while, but if it continues along this line, I won't be here for too much longer. I will move on, find something else that um, brings me enjoyment, and there's plenty of games out there. Um, I love the community, which is what keeps me here. But I need to progress and I need to progress at a decent rate so that I'm not falling behind. You know, you can be progressing and still falling behind. And that's what's happening. This is what they're doing. This is the climate that they are creating. OK, uh, but anyway, uh, that's going to do it. I, I didn't mean to rant for this long uh, and make a video this long, but I'm, I'm really passionate about this thing. Uh, I feel for people who are stuck in Cavalier. And I also feel for people who can become Thronebreaker, but don't spend on the game. Because we are all getting shafted by Kabam with this. Okay, they are getting a huge amount of backlash, but they have not shown themselves to be very responsive uh, to this type of thing. Uh, but maybe they will this time. Maybe, maybe they'll listen. Uh, I'm part of the CCP, if you guys know what that is, Content Creator Program. Uh, so I can talk to them directly, which I have been doing. And so has other CCP members. Brian Grant is part of the CCP as well. 
So Kabam has been hearing not just everyone from the forums and everything, but from us as well uh, about how we feel. And it's not good. It's not a good feeling. This is not a good look at all. Okay. But that's going to do it. Take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Definitely let me know what you think about all of this. Uh, if you're as upset as uh, I've heard a lot of people are, uh, leave a comment. Be respectful, but leave a comment and let me know what you think. And you all have a blessed day.